let's get to your next question. Okay. Okay. So the next one's from uh, Doug Whitmore, and he said he'd like to know more about pruning pear trees. Uh, specifically, what's the best advice for keeping them fairly short when they naturally want to shoot straight up? Yeah, pear trees do want to climb. Um, My guess is that he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't want to use a ladder, and he wants to right. sort of keep them like within reach. I, I don't. I'm guessing. Fairly I short. would. I would say the the. Yeah, short. I have seen people prune the heck out of them, like a like a a bush, <laughs> and they do get some pears out of them. Uh, I always like to say. You know, did you ask the pear tree how it likes that? <laughs> but on the other hand, I have, and one of the things that really changed my view of it was when I went to the Montreal Botanical Gardens has a big Chinese garden of bonsais. And I saw a, a bonsai tree that was maybe, you know, 60 centimeters high. And the tree was 150 years old. And I recognized the tree. It was it was one of the maples and I thought, wait a minute, that maple will grow in great conditions, will grow to be a hundred feet tall or, you know, it would, in 150 years probably. And I thought, that's incredible. How can this tree be so stunted, bonsai? And I, I, that really brought home the whole aspect that the I like to say that trees are really just clay in our hands and we can shape them to do whatever we want them to do. So you can prune them, but I would say the simplest in terms of reducing the long-term work depends. If you have one pear tree and you're going to spend, I've heard of people spend three hours on a tree. It's like, for me, that's inconceivable because <laughs> there's no way with a couple of thousand trees that I can spend an hour per tree. Yeah. So if you want and you have the time like that, you can simply take the branches and bend them, uh, arc them. Uh, we have to be careful with pears because they're the only ones that are uh, contrary to the rule that normally if you take a branch and you bend, like a branch that's whatever angle, and you bend it, you want to bend it below horizontal yes. from the main trunk. Yeah. But pears are the exception. You don't want to bend it below horizontal or it will send out shoots. And I learned that because I was saying, oh, okay, this technique is great. I'll do it on my pear trees. And I bent them below horizontal and all of a sudden I get all these suckers and I think, no, if you bend it below horizontal, you shouldn't get suckers. And I couldn't understand. So I went back to the book and he says, yes, it, it works for all the trees except pear trees. <laughs> That's nature, full of exceptions. There's always an exception. So be yeah. careful with pear trees. They will naturally go up and then arc below. So you'll naturally have them curving. So that's what you want to simulate with your several trunks. You want to take them and arc them. So that's one way to keep them lower. Right. Another way is uh, a technique uh, called uh, Arcure Lepage. It was developed in the 1800s by a, a Mr. Lepage. And it basically meant you take your trunk and you, you arc it, so you bend it. So you'll have your trunk and it'll be bent. And then it will reiterate. So you take your second shoot and you arc it the other way. And then you take your, your arc, and so you end up getting a real zigzag pattern to your tree. But instead of being 25 feet, it'll only have gone 10 feet because it goes back and forth so many times. Huh. So one of my interns, uh, that's the way he trained his pear trees. And it was neat to see, like they really want to, if you bend it, they really want to shoot up again. And then he'd take that one and bend it down. So he the main trunk ends up taking a long, sinuous path. And that's one way to do it, because each time it bends, then you'll get other branches come out. So there are other techniques used, um, because in France, pear trees grow to be 30 feet high or 35 feet. So yes, you don't want to be using a ladder to pick that, and I can understand that. 